Hi, this is Dr. Andrea Furlan here. Today I'm going to talk to you about exercises for myofascial pain syndrome of the lumbar spine. The lumbar spine is the area in the lumbar sacral area and there are so many muscles there and when a person has myofascial trigger points in the area, it really hurts. I know because I had them myself and I did those exercises, I still do them. So I'll teach you what I teach my patients when they have myofascial pain syndrome. I explained in another video what is myofascial pain syndrome and that's basically muscle pain. It's pain that is originated in the muscles. So today, just pay attention, stay here, I'll tell you what are those exercises that I do for myself and I recommend my patients to do when they have myofascial pain that is coming from the lumbar muscles. Do you remember the four types of exercise that I recommend when people have myofascial pain syndrome? So think about if it's muscle pain, what are the types of exercise? S-S-A-R, stretching, strengthening, aerobics, and relaxation exercises. So we we'll use the same principles here. We'll start with the stretching exercises. <laughs> We'll start with the quadratus lumborum muscle. This is a very large muscle that we have. It's a muscle that attaches from the lowest ribs to the pelvic bone. And what it does is when we are walking, for example, we have to elevate our pelvis to be able to clear the floor. So this muscle contracts when we are walking. Also, when we are sitting for a prolonged period of time, this muscle also has to be contracting both of them on the right and left side to stabilize our spine when we are sitting. And if you work or you stay sitting the, um, the majority of the day, like if you have a desk work, then this muscle might be tight and it might be a cause of the low back pain if you have myofascial pain. So I'll show you what happens when the quadratus lumborum is tight because of trigger points. So standing on this position, if the quadratus lumborum is not tight, we would be able to go down, this is called lateral bending, up to the head of the fibula. Fibula is this small bone that we have in the leg, and there is a head of the fibula here. It's about two centimeters below the knee line. So we would be able to touch the head of the fibula, which is about two or three centimeters below the knee. So you see here, I don't have tightness of this quadratus lumborum muscle on this side. Let's see on the other side. So if you go on this side, I start feeling some pulling of this muscle on this side here, but still I can go and try not to cheat by going forward. You go on your side. So doing this on the side, I can touch the head of the fibula. So this is exactly the exercise that I teach people to stretch the um, quadratus lumborum. So you would go to this side and remember, take a deep breath and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay there. Another deep breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If this is too easy, you can add some of your arm movement to stretch a little bit more and then come back slowly. And do the same thing for the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I feel the pulling of the muscle here. That's a good feeling. So the other muscle that we have to stretch is called piriformis. Piriformis is a tiny muscle in the buttock area, but it can hurt a lot, especially if you have trigger points in the muscle that is squeezing the sciatic nerve, then you can have a pain that is not only in the buttock area, in the lower lumbar area, but also go down, travel down the back of the leg. 
So this muscle, to stretch this muscle, I recommend that you sit, you cross the leg. If you don't have any problem in the hip or knee, you'll be able to do this position. And then you go forward, lean forward, keep going, down, down, down. When you reach the maximum position, take a deep breath, count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take another deep breath and go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take another deep breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back slowly. And repeat the exercise now with the other side. Go the maximum that you can go. Here, take a deep breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another deep breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back slowly. You should feel stretching in this area here. The other type of exercises that I recommend, you need to find a flat surface, a hard surface, preferably with a mat to be comfortable, and then you can do these exercises. We're going to do exercises for the gluteal muscles. So there are three types of gluteus muscles, the gluteus maximus, medius, and minimus. We're going to combine the exercises and do uh, this for all of them at once. So lying down flat on your back, what I recommend you to do first is bending one leg. You're going to pull the other leg. Don't pull here because you put a lot of um, uh, strength in your knee and you don't need to put a lot of force here in the knee. So pulling back here, you're going to pull this knee towards this shoulder, the same side shoulder. And again, take a deep breath and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax. Now the other one, the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go back slowly. Then the second one, you're going to bring this knee to the opposite side, like pointing to the opposite shoulder. So when you do this, try to bend forward. So you're going to feel the stretch here. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And come back slowly. Now to the other side, bring this knee towards this shoulder. You can put your hand here. Take a deep breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the last one here is bringing both together. Bring close to your chest. Take a deep breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember not to do this. Don't hold your breath and don't do this. 
Just relax your neck when you're doing these exercises. All the exercises that we did so far, they are stretching exercises and we need to do SSAR. So now we're going to do some strengthening exercises for those muscles that I mentioned. So the first one is going to be the quadratus lumborum. So the first exercise that we're going to strengthen is the quadratus lumborum. And how do we do that? So that is a side plank. And if you have never done this, the easiest way of doing a side plank is uh, putting the, the force of your body in the knees and your shoulder and elbows are aligned here, like the elbow is under your shoulder and you just raise and hold it for as long as you can. So if you have never done this, you may try to hold for 15 seconds if you can, try to hold for 30 seconds. The idea is that you can hold this for a minute. If this is too easy for you, if you are experienced in doing this, then you can then put the force on your ankle. So you're going to raise your whole body uh, with the force going in the ankles. So again, remember to put the elbow under the shoulder and let's do a go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you go down. You may feel a lot of uh, strength here in the shoulder, but actually you're using the quadratus lumborum, the muscles in your lumbar spine, the abdominal muscles to go up. So try to think about the muscles that you are contracting when you go up. So let's try again. One, two, three, four. 20. So that was about 20 seconds and the idea is that you do this and try to increase the time that you can stay in that position. The idea is that you can do that for one minute, 60 seconds. That's called a side plank and it's strengthening for the quadratus lumborum muscle. So now that we are in this position, we are going to do a front plank. And a front plank is similar to the side plank but it is your whole body. So what we're going to do is we're going to stay here. Again, the elbows aligned with the shoulders and we're going to go up and you're going to try to hold this position for 15 seconds to start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Then you come down. If that's too hard for you, you can try on your knees and do the same thing. And if that's too easy, you can try to hold for 30 seconds or 60 seconds. And if that is too easy, you can try to do some reaches while you're doing your play. When we talk about strengthening the muscles, it's also important to talk about the abdominal muscles because in myofascial pain syndrome of the lumbar area, usually the abdominal muscles are very weak and they are also important in the stabilization of the lumbar spine. So the best exercise we all know to do strengthening of the abdominal muscles are the crunches. And this is how I recommend people to do the crunches. If this is new to you, you're not used to do this, just you can straight your arms, that's easy, or this, and just raise from the flat surface, stay there for 10 seconds, come back and do this, and do this 10 times. If that's too easy, you can try to bend the, the arms here and try to do the same thing and stay there and repeat it 10 times. And if that's too easy, then you can try to put the arms here and do the same thing and repeat 10 times. If you can, 
you can try to go up all the way up and down but that's not necessary because just doing this you're already contracting all the abdominal muscles here and that's very good and another exercise that is important to do is the strengthening of the gluteus muscles here and we can do this in this position as well we'll do a bridge and the bridge is you just open the legs here the knees and just go up and you stay there for as long as you can start with 15 seconds and then you start progressing you can go to 30 seconds 60 seconds and stay there you're strengthening the abdominal muscles the quadratus lumborum the gluteus muscles all at once when you do a bridge and another exercise that is to strengthen the muscles in the back, the paraspinal muscles, is the superman position. So you just go flat on your stomach and then you go up, arms and legs, and you stay there for as long as you can. Again, if you can tolerate 15 seconds the first time, that's perfect. If you have never done this, that's very good. But if you start doing this more regularly, you'll be able to hold it for 30 seconds. And then the ideal is 60 seconds. So you can start taking notes of your progression, how you progress with these exercises, your routines, and then you start taking notes of how many seconds you can hold each position and you see that you are getting better. So I recommend people to do this stretching and strengthening exercises three times a week. You see, this routine of exercise doesn't take too long. And if you incorporate in your routine three times a week, that would be perfect. But don't forget, we also have the other types of exercise. We have to do the aerobic exercises. And that may include walking, running, jogging, biking, swimming, dancing. And I recommend that people do moderate to vigorous aerobic exercises or cardio exercises at least 150 minutes a week. That can be like three sessions of 50 minutes each time. And you can alternate. You don't need to do the aerobic exercise the same days that you do your stretching and strengthening routine. And don't forget the relaxation exercises, relaxing the muscles, relaxing the mind, I recommend people to do this many times during the day and it can be short like five minutes relaxation exercise and uh, if you do when you are stressed or when you are in the car or even when you get home when you wake up in the morning those relaxation exercises will help to relax the muscles and them and keep them in good shape so i hope you remember that for myofascial pain syndrome of the lumbar spine it's important to engage in a regular physical activity. That's basically what I do every day, every week. And I have to say that for the past uh, two, three years, I have not had another episode of acute back pain. And I think that's because I engaged in this regular physical activity that I was not doing before, before I had those episodes of low back pain. So thank you for watching this video today. Remember that this video is only for educational purposes. It's not supposed to replace medical advice. If you think that you have myofascial pain of your lumbar spine, please consult your physician and they will be able to give you a diagnosis and a proper treatment plan for you. Also remember to like this video, to subscribe to this channel and to turn on the notifications so you can be alerted when I post new videos. I also tweet, I have a Facebook page and an Instagram account. You can contact me there, ask questions, comments, suggestions, and I'll try to respond there. Thank you for watching today. Bye.